let me tell you, it is pretty here. They don't make them like this anymore. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're at Door Farm in Manchester, Vermont for the 26th annual Manchester Antique and Classic Car Show. Now, Manchester's in southwestern Vermont, right about in the heart of the Green Mountain National Forest, and let me tell you, it's pretty here. But they also know how to put on a heck of a car show. There's some incredible rides here today. I like it. Including some stuff I've never seen, and I'm dying to get up close and personal with it. So what do you say we get around and check some of these babies out? What a weird design. Dutch, what can I say? This really bugs me. Welcome to Manchester, Dennis. Berta, this is beautiful. I, you know, I love Vermont. It's, I'm always looking for an excuse it's, to come up here. It's Vermont. It's, it's Vermont. Wonderful. What did you say? It's yeah. Vermont, yeah. yeah. And you guys have been doing a show for quite a while, right? 26 years. And Door Farm, what a cool place to have a show. Well, this is like quintessential Vermont. I mean, it's a beautiful 66 acre park. It has 150 classic tractors here that are here all the time and joined by 400 plus classic cars. It, it doesn't get better. No, it doesn't. But it's, it's really cool. And I, I love the setting, you know, up here in, the, in these are the green mountains, right? These are the green mountains it's of just, Vermont. Man, it's just like everywhere you look, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it is. And in Manchester is such a nice town. Manchester is a beautiful town. It was uh, home to Abraham Lincoln's son. We have a wonderful art center. We have music. We have theater. A lot of culture. A lot of culture. A lot of culture. Yeah. <laughs> but then, you know, beautiful show here today. At the end of today, you're going to take a whole bunch of these cars and basically parade through we town, parade right? parade through town because we have people who love to see them that maybe aren't at the show all day, but they love to see them in town. So we'll go through town, uh, make a big loop, and come on back to the farm, and then we'll do it all again we'll another day. Do it all, day. all tomorrow. Yes. Every year we have two featured marks. And BMW and Buick are this year. Yes. Well, I tell you, there's a Buick over there that is to die for. Let's go look at that baby. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. Chris, this is a wild little machine. It's only the second one I've ever seen in my life. This is a Fiat Chalette. Michelotti Chalette. Michelotti Chalette, 1969? 69. They're just kind of a little, you know, like a little beach car or something. Yep. It's a lot like the, you know, uh, uh, Fiat made the Jolly, which was even sillier looking than yep. this actually. Yep. Um, this looks kind of like a boat. Yep, put in production by Philip Schell, who also uh, custom made boats. And, and this, uh, the wicker interior is what it came with. All original. The rear seat is original also. It's covered right now. The Great Dane put uh, put his feet. <laughs> Needs to be rewoven, so right? Huh? It will be rewoven. So the wicker dash? All original. I mean, this thing's, like, this thing's like a picnic basket turned inside out or something like that. There's a canvas top and no sides of the car. Actually, they made it with a heater as well. <laughs> Why? Well, I don't what, know. What are you heating? Yeah. You know, the planet? I mean, they were really beach cars, right? They were beach cars, and there's little holes underneath the carpets that you can brush the sand really? out. Okay. Yep. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> right there. In, In the back, place. same thing. These were like powered by some little... 850, 850cc Fiat. Fiat, open it up. Built on an 850 Fiat platform. But it's not an air-cooled, that's the intake for the radiator. That's I mean, right. It's a water-cooled mm -hmm. engine, right? Water-cooled. Man, that's a little engine. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah. So Runs uh, great. Does uh, it really? I think it's got 55.6 uh, kilometers on it, which is just under 10,000 original miles. I purchased it from the uh, original owner you know, who, 10, lived, who lived in Italy at the time. 10,000 miles on this car would be a lot of miles. I mean, driving this car for yeah. 10,000 miles, yeah, it that would, would be, be, a, lot of, <laughs> be yes. a lot of miles. You don't want to drive this car a long way. It's a fun <laughs> car to drive. So, I mean, have you had it long? I've had it four weeks. Seriously? I found out about it uh, about six months ago. It's actually uh, what you can consider a barn find. A barn garage yeah. find. So, and, and this, I mean, this is the... Uh, this Origi is the this original is, glove box. That's the glove box, the glove yes. basket. The glove <laughs> basket. I understand this wicker was made by the same company that uh, uh, made the wicker baskets for Rolls-Royce. Wow. Chris, she's really cool. 69 yep. Fiat Chalette. Only the second one I've ever seen. Good. Cool ride. Thank you. <laughs> Mark, beautiful car, 29 Peerless Roadster, right? Yep, 29 Peerless, built in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, is that where they were built? Yeah. Oh. This is one of three known to exist. Wow, yeah. wow. Where'd yeah. you find it? In Bellingham, Mass, and uh, my cousin owned it, and it was out in the barn for about 
since 1965. Wow. And I was out rummaging around one day and I set eyes on it and it was, that was it. I That's loved it. And love at first sight. Was she pretty solid though? I mean, it was yes, it was a solid cow when I started. Otherwise, I, I would have given up. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. How about the uh, your your radiator cap? That That's that was the Peerless Eagle. Wow. Yeah. She's beautiful. I love the you know the yellow, black, and then there's kind of a almost a turquoise pinstripe that you know on your louvers and and down it really like sets that. just it sets does. it off. It doesn't it? It, it really, really does. does. And, and she's got dual side mounts. Yep, dual side mounts. The instrument cluster is beautiful, and that's I guess yep. Peerless Crest there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the only place on the whole car it says Peerless is in the middle of that. <laughs> it's funny how they didn't put the names on cars very often. That is, you know, many places. It's she's still not done yet. She's still got some things to be done on. Hey man, they're never done. Yeah, never. that's a so just, is it that's a, is a fact. It a three speed. Three speed. Yeah. Uh huh. And of course, it's a rumble seat. Yes, roadster. it is. Man, with the with the yes, two it steps. Is. Yeah. Boom, boom. That's. I mean, that is. That's so cool. And then this is. This is your. Uh, your trunk tr rack. Trunk rack. Yep. Right? For the. For yep. the trunk. Yep. Because it really isn't a trunk. Well, that's where the word trunk from a car came Cause from. Because it was a trunk. Yes. It actually was a trunk. Yes, it was. <laughs> Man, she's just gorgeous. So, so you said this is powered by a, a six-cylinder Continental. Straight right? six Continental engine. Yes. Let's go look at that baby. Wow. So so, Peerless. Used Continental as their engine. Not all of them. Oh, really? Just, just in this model, and they used a couple others. But all they did make their own engines. And um, then the distributor right up on top. I mean, it's yeah, right it's, in the middle of it. It's got the, the original action. lock for the goes to the uh, key. So there's, it's an anti-theft device. Believe it or not, back in the day they had anti-theft really? devices. Yeah. Is it? It's an updraft. Updraft. Wow. Well, that was made originally made out of pot metal, uh -huh. and you'll never find a, a good one because, <laughs> because they're, they're all gone. They're all falling apart. That was yeah. recasted. It's no, an exact kidding. duplicate of the original. Man, would it you is. like to hear it? Well, sure. Fire it up. I mean, if she'll if she'll start that oh, easy. Oh yeah. Wow. That is pretty, man. She purrs. Oh, she does. Listen to that. Wow, just like, you got to set up. Do you drive this much at all? Or yeah, I drive it a lot. I love driving this car. I bet it's a blast. And I bet people just like, oh, man, yeah, look at that it's, thing. It's, it's, it, when they see it coming down the road, it's definitely different. Well, it's a beautiful car, as you see up here. It's a beautiful car. Yeah. <laughs> and you got a great parking space here to park the car. But yep. beautiful. 29. Peerless Roadster, right? Peerless Roadster, yeah. Mark, nice Thank job. Thank you very much. Fabulous car. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, Joe, I saw this baby sitting on the streets of Manchester this morning as I came through town on the way to the show. I went, what is that? <laughs> That's gorgeous. It's, and, I, and, I, and I couldn't tell what it was. I thought it was a TVR maybe at first. But she's, she's a Lotus. Yeah, close to a TVR, yeah. both fiberglass construction. So There's, it's all fiberglass it's com Completely fiberglass, except for a small uh, little skid and triangulated uh, steel section up front. I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. And you really, you get down into this baby. I mean, mm -hmm. it, is, it is down here. Yes. So what, these are the original seats and everything? The original seats, of course, recovered in the right. uh, restoration. But I tried to keep, or we tried to keep the car as original uh, as possible. So this is the color scheme that it was originally, the gray carpet. There's no headliner per se. It's all fiberglass. That, your, your ceiling is fiberglass, that's right? That's correct. Oh, wow. It's a double wall fiberglass. I've never seen that. And, you know, again, I mean, she's, she's really little. <laughs> I mean, it's not wide at all. And just kind of comes right on. Is that, is that back window was made specifically for this car? Yes. But well, yeah. that's a tough one to find. Yes, it is. Boy, and it looks with those with those uh, strut towers. It just looks so wild back there. Mm -hmm. So what what powers this baby? It's a Coventry Climax, 1220 cc. Let's go look at it, man. Sure. Oh, that's cute. It's Coventry Climax. Coventry Climax, four cylinder, 1220 cc's. This particular engine was race prepared, so it has the uh, twin Weber 40 DCOEs. Yeah. It has a high lift cam. Godiva medallion? Yes, the famous Godiva medallion. Coventry. Yeah. Of course. Coventry. Oh, just, I mean, this is beautiful. You've really done a nice job on this. At Ford's day, it was a uh, incredibly successful racing machine. Close it back down, man. Right. And, and you know, I mean, being all fiberglass, is she flexy? Not at all. No kidding. No, that, that's the monocoque construction. 
Um, Still pretty stiff even keep, though it keeps everything extremely stiff. Uh, Ron Hickman was the head engineer on the project and uh, he was adamant about designing yeah. in uh, block spaces and uh, cross uh, So does pieces. this get tons of attention wherever you go because people just don't know what it is? Yes, yeah, it's, it's yeah. great. It's a pretty little car. It is, man. Well, I'm so glad you brought it out today, man. Uh, 59 Lotus Elite. Elite. All fiberglass. All fiberglass. Yeah, was a... Would you like to touch my car? Well, George, I love your Eldo. <laughs> <laughs> this baby is wild. Well, 67 Caddy Eldorado. Exactly. Man, this was a radical design change in 67 for That's Cadillac. Right. That's right. For the Eldorado. I mean, this thing is like, it's like they gem cut this thing. It's like chiseled and, and just so angular. Correct. So these had, I mean, there, there were hideaway headlights and where yeah, are the that headlights? Was a, well, there were, these drop down yeah. on a vacuum, on a vacuum control. Yeah, yeah. And when you turn the headlights on, you automatically the vacuum switch, drop these, drop these two levers down, these two plates down, and you can, your headlights are right behind you. So, I mean, this is a front wheel drive car. This yes. is like the Tornado. Exactly. Yeah. Tornado came out in 66. Right. Same drive system as the Tornado, drive same thing, yeah. What a long, long hood this baby's got. And again, I mean, just these peaks and points and... They're trying to bring back the old old style of the Cadillac, the long hoods yeah, with the yeah. V12s and V16s. So yeah. you restored this, eh? Yes. Man, how big a job was that? Oh, a lot of, a lot of work. You uh, can't imagine, right? Uh, it's just labor of love is what it was. <laughs> well, she's so cool. You know, and, and again, this is a massive car with a surprisingly small passenger compartment. Yes, really. really. There's not much here in the back seat. So you've got the uh, the bucket seats in this. This is a rare option, the bucket seats. Usually it came with a, with a bench. Uh huh. You know, it's interesting though, because this is so unique and it's so different, but you look at the dash and it's pretty much GM. The dash is a standard 67 uh, dash. They use in all the cars. Yeah, but but you know, what a, I mean, what a wild looking car. It looks like two piece glass. It is, it's a cut, cut glass. They, they fold it over. And it really for design purposes, it made a line. So the point goes all the all way. All the way down through. Yeah. But all the points and the peaks and the, you know, the razor, it's just, it's awesome. What, what powers it? It's a 429 uh, V8 engine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 340 horse with uh, 480 pounds of torque. That's pretty, that's pretty substantial. Yeah, let's go look at that it. That was our standard engine for Cadillac. Well, it's well sprung, though. That, that's one huge hood. It's she a lot just of weight. came yeah. up with yeah. a yeah. Yeah, finger it's well, well balanced, yep. Boy, so that's a 429 Caddy. 429 Caddy, yeah. Wow, man. I really like this thing, yeah. buddy. Have you been to the Manchester show before? I have been before, yes. This is a cool show. It is a nice show, yeah. Really yeah, nice. like the setting. And, and uh, this is a great addition to the show. 67 Caddy Eldorado. I love this car. Thank you. We need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Dave, this is a beautiful car. Really caught my eye. It's a 53 Pontiac Catalina, right? Yes, it is. And it's green. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that it's green, I tell you. <laughs> if you want me to notice a car to show, paint it green. <laughs> but this really is beautiful, and it's a very interesting color. It's What, what is the combo? This is laurel green and Milano ivory. Man, she is just, and it, this would have been a, a, a combo a, 453, right? A standard color for 53 on the Catalina only. One of my favorite things about this car has always been the Chieftain up here. That's got to be a reproduction because they never look that good. Yes, it is. They always, through the through time and the heat, always crazed. Yeah, and kind of turned white almost. Yes. That is sharp, though. One nice thing with the hood ornament, it's the only Pontiac hood ornament with a double Indian fin on it. Uh -huh. Every other one was a singleton type of oh, fin. Yeah. That is a double. But you got the Chieftain up here and the Chieftain down here. Yes. I mean, there's no question, this baby's a pioneer. And that was 53 only? 53 only. Beautiful. Boy, I mean, she's just in beautiful shape. You must have restored this. This baby. was restored about seven or eight years ago now. Oh, she looks great. And the interior is, is gorgeous. Would this two tone have been? Correct for the period? Uh, yes, it was. This was original to the car, uh -huh. this type of uh, pattern with the buttons in it. The seats themselves were a cloth. And what an interesting dash. I mean, <laughs> that, thing, that thing looks like an old Wurlitzer or something. <laughs> <laughs> It's an old radio. I mean, Between the radio, the speaker itself, the clock in it. But you had a push button radio back then. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. And she's a, it's an automatic. Automatic. Hydromatic. It's a four speed forward, yes. Wow. That was used in several GM cars. Just, you know, the other thing I like about this car is just this little, just this hint of a fin. Yes. You know, 53, but starting to sprout fins already. 
and streaks back here. The silver streak continued on as if it continued from the front right through yeah. to the and back. And you got chieftains back here. I mean, yes. this, this car's got chieftains everywhere. That's why I enjoyed this car because it has so many Indian appointments on it and I thought that's what I want. Well, if you're going to be Pontiac, <laughs> you, <laughs> you got to have this. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. Uh, now this was before the, the V8, so this is still a Pontiac 8? This is a straight eight straight cylinder. Eight. Yeah. Yes, 268 cubic inches. Let's go look at it. Roughly 125 horsepower. Open that baby up. Pretty big hood. Oh yeah. Wow. That's really a wild looking engine. That, and that, I'm assuming that's the battery over that there? That is. It's a long six volt battery. It looks like a spare radiator. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> well, you got a beautiful car? And Thank it's green. Thank you very much. <laughs> 53 Pontiac Catalina. I love it, man. Hey, the show here in Manchester, Vermont really is nice. The green mountains, killer cars, what's not to like? Vacation destination. Check this one out.